Salute to Hoops, guys. Welcome back. So, we're in a different lo location today. Um, my girlfriend goes to work before me. So, she's actually in the living room where I'm working out. Where I usually film the videos. So, today we are live from the bedroom. And I couldn't find a good spot in here. So, we're kind of... We got a makeshift area here, which is which is cool. So, different location for a different video. Um, today we're doing our first section uh, mail call. So, I got some uh, some packages here in the mail. Excuse me. And uh, there's some cards that I ordered online. A lot of them I already know what they are, um, but some of them I don't. Like these guys right here, um, I ordered off of eBay, and they were kind of like one of those mystery lot type deals. So, um, yeah, we got, we got a considerable amount here and we're going to, I'm going to open up with you guys, uh, share the prices with you. Most of them I got on a really good deal. Uh, I just kind of scoured the internet, not the internet, but like apps like, uh, offer up or Mercari and was able to find some pretty good deals on some recent rookies. So we're gonna just get right into this here. This right here is the uh, mystery box. It's, I think it's some mem cards. And I'm not too sure how many we were supposed to get in here, but I believe this cost me $30 total with um, shipping and everything. So we'll see what is in here kind of exciting because I don't know I just got really into mem cards all of a sudden I kind of want to start building up my uh, personal collection a little bit more so uh, superior sports investments.com it looks like we're getting 10 10 mem cards here um, if you guys are interested if we get anything good you should definitely check them out uh, oh this is a storage box too which is pretty cool if we can, uh, let's see here. I gotta, like, solve Da Vinci's code to open this fucking thing up, apparently. Uh, let's see here. Factory seal, alright. We should probably just read first, huh? If you guys like my videos, uh, subscribe, let me know how I'm doing. I've noticed I'm getting a few more views as of late. Holy entire fuck. And we might, uh, we might just have to go all in on this. Sorry for the storage box here. There we go. All right. That was probably obnoxious, but. Okay. Oh, there's. Cool. Some good packaging here. Put that off to the side. First card I see, Ty Lawson. Nini. Oh, they're really well protected. That's pretty cool. So what do we got here? Got a Ty Lawson. Uh, 93 of 149. Not bad. Ty Lawson, cool. Patty Mills signed. I thought these were going to be jersey cards, but they're all autos, which is cool, too. What do we got here? Jamie Feek. Jamie Feek. I can't say I, uh, I know who Jamie Feek is. Jamie Feek. Might be an older school. Too. Jermaine Taylor. Remember this guy, Jersey Jersey Plus Auto, Quincy Pondexter rookie auto, numbered uh, one seventy seven to five eighty five, Gorgi Deng, numbered uh, nineteen out of one forty nine. All right, let's take Gorgi Deng. Jeff Foster. 
that's pretty cool. If uh, is this number at all? If anyone remembers Jeff Foster on the Pacers, he was actually kind of a uh, kind of a goon. I mean, this guy was like a rebounder, really good hustler. Played a really vital role on their um, early two thousands team when they were uh, playoff contenders. So that's pretty cool. We got Darren Williams here. Not a bad card. Cool. Next up, we got Darren Collison. That ain't bad. I'll take a Darren Collison for sure. And then last, looks like we have a Nene jersey. Numbered uh, 99 out of 399, if you can see it right there. Okay. All right, so, I mean, that wasn't, that's not a bad group of cards at all. 30 bucks. If you guys want to check them out, spearsportsinvestments.com. Cool. Nothing, nothing like adding to the PC a little bit, you know. Okay, so I think this one right here is just one card, if I'm not, if I remember correctly. So hopefully we can get this open here. Whoever shipped this was uh, all about protection, so that's pretty cool of them. If you can hear the dog, I apologize. My girlfriend's working out. There's a lot of a lot going on, so. And I'm also struggling with like trying to have some good placement in this video. Card within a card. Got the packaging here. Yep, this is just the one card I bought. If I can get it out here. It was a uh, Quentin Richardson memory card. I believe I got this for like four bucks or something. Not bad. Um, and I was just I like I liked Quentin Richardson back in the day. He was yeah, so I just bought that for my PC. I thought it was cool, so. Cool, thanks for that. Uh believe okay, right here. Try to hide the person's name. Sorry. I believe these are going to be a I had to get one of those cool knives like all the other guys. Do these. Boom, hell yeah. This is gonna be and you, you can actually see it labeled. A lot of bull bull cards that I bought off of the uh, Mercari app. Let me be careful here. Let's not cut our uh, cut ourselves. And these were a steal too, for sure. I believe. Oh, they're not protected. They're not in the protector, so we gotta we gotta be. A little careful with them. So we got Bobo Silver Prism. We got two of them actually. Not bad. Once I'm done with this video, I'll get these all in sleep protectors. Blue Hollow Parallel Optic. Dope. Hell yeah. And you know, Bobo is a, a high risk. I mean, he hasn't really proven himself at all. But we got Ricky Bass, Donruss. Um, I think I'm almost certain that I spent. These are like, I don't know what's going on with this. Blue glitter tape and shit. Uh, these appear to be cards within cards. What's going on in here? Trying to be careful. We got the purple. Easy. NBA hoops. Purple insert, I believe this is. Yep. Oh my god. Alright. Ah. Uh. 
Easy. Okay. We got the absolute memorabilia rookie. Uh, Panini contenders. Ricky base and then the purple NBA hoops parallel or insert I think it's a parallel and one two three four five six seven cards so I paid a buck a piece for these cards which I am not mad about at all I'm satisfied with that I'll take that all day next we got a little fella here you know with care thank you hopefully the post office Followed that. Uh, this is super fun though. I think I'm gonna do a lot more videos like this. Oh, this is definitely gonna be cool. So, yeah, Dr. J Relic, ladies and gentlemen. Bust the soup in here. Oh, looks like it came with some other cards in it too. Uh, I think I got this on, I want to say eBay. Just some random cards came with it. Lenny Dykstra, Anthony Carter, Jerome Allen, Constantine Papa, I don't know who that is, Roger Gug, and Stan Javier. Some just, probably just some random. I don't know Lenny Dykstra, but that's about it. This was the most important card I got here. Julius Irving, baby. Game worn jersey. Mem card. Uh, and this, I'm almost certain, cost me 9 or $10. So, when it comes to uh, a legend like Dr. J, I mean, you can't go wrong for 10, 10 fucking bucks. So, definitely a cool card there. Next up, it's going to be our second to last package for the mail call. Oh, shit. Looks like there was like a, a note in here of some sort. Thanks again for the business. Sorry. <laughs> Definitely cool to have those though. I whenever I send something out, I usually put like a little uh, token of appreciation as well. So this was oh, okay, cool. A lot of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven uh, Kobe Whites that I got on. I believe this was offer up. And I'm pretty sure I spent. 12 bucks on these with the coolest one being the Kobe White Rookie Prism Mem card. That was just first on the top there. So, oh, sorry about that. Definitely a great card, great condition. I'm a Kobe White fan, Bulls fan, you all know that. We got our Kobe White NBA, NBA Rookie, NBA Hoops Rookie, excuse me. Also dope. Ricky Insert, NBA Hoops. I pulled the John Morant one the other day of that. The Kobe White Prism. Another Kobe White Prism. The Draft Class, Draft Picks one. Looks like there's two here. And then the Great Expectations. So, really cool. And I've just been, like I said, trying to get the, the old PC, excuse me, PC up. Uh, I've been trying to look for some deals, just, that's ugly, with cards and everything. So that's how I picked up the most of these, really, what we have here. And uh, if I can just remember what this card was, that'd be great. Uh, 
Oh, cool. These were uh, also three cards that I got on Mercari. That I spent. I think these were seven dollars for the entire for all three of them. If I can just get them open here, as you can see, the first card is Michael Petrus. Which I'm not, I mean, I didn't buy it for that, but Michael Petrus is, I guess, a cool card to have, but it's not numbered or anything. He was a, a solid role player back in the day, though, but I mainly got it for these two guys next coming up. Jason Richardson, one of my favorite players back in the day. Number 349 out of 500. And then... The uh, Gilbert Arenas, which is what I really bought this for. Numbered or anything? Nope. Definitely cool to have, though, for sure. In my opinion. This is all, like, sentimental value, you know. So, I believe that's all we have for the mail call for today. I'm expecting a few more things in the mail, so um, I hope you guys like this video. Um, I know it's kind of... Kind of janky, a little bit makeshift here, but we made it work. It was fun. Um, yeah, I'm going to get all my stuff, all these bulbuls and my my other stuff here and top loaders. I believe all my Kobe Whites are already. Cool. But like I said, guys, thanks for, the, thanks for watching. Salute to Hoops. I'm going to do some more videos. I got some boxes coming in the mail, too, of some new stuff. So um, there's definitely more to come. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, like I said, if you like what you see, subscribe, let me know how I'm doing and enjoy the rest of your day. Appreciate it. Thank you.